I think the first thing we need to do, though, is recognize in this digital world that there are, from a branded perspective, there are two things. There's advertising and what we would call content. And I know these things are often exchanged. The reason why we differentiate the two is, is we think there's a great role for advertising. And advertising is about interruption. It's about getting a message through. And of course, if you do it in an engaging way, people won't mind and people want to you know, come along with you and maybe you amuse them or uh, you, you give them some sort of um, uh, innovative message or whatever. But that's advertising. And then on the other side of content, content for us is, is for, that people will seek out content. Uh, and we see sort of two t types of content mainly, one of which is content which gives real utility. So things like all things hair. Uh, so all things hair, you can go and look it up on Google. Um, you will be able to find the late, latest hair trends first there. And we worked with Google to work out what is the next hair trend. And we can predict the next hair trend before it happens to about 93% accuracy just from their data. And then we worked with YouTube and vloggers to make sure we could assign the vloggers to then do those hairstyles, let's say the messy bun, uh, before anyone else. So now you want to, you're um, a young, uh, young girl and you want to do a messy bun, you Google, and sure enough, the first thing that will come up is all things hair. And in there, you'll find your favorite vlogger teaching you how to do a messy bum. That's real utility. You want to find out things like that. And of course, the products they're using are Tresemme and Tony and Guy and Dove and uh, all sorts of Unilever products. And of course, on, on an e-com platform on, on all things hair, you can buy them too. But this isn't advertising-led. This is utility-led because you can find out something that you want to find. Or another approach uh, from the utility is, is passion points. And that's the second sort of content area. Um, and we all know that well. I mean, you might, I don't know if you have a passion in cars or golf or something, and you go and seek out that content. So how can you as a brand uh, uh, fuel passion points? I think we can then develop um, content or advertising the right way. I think a lot of our content ultimately is just bad advertising uh, when we actually look at it more uh, carefully. So I think one of the things we need to do is start accepting that there are different types um, of communication vehicles in a much more segmented way than we probably are right now. And we also go back to the old adage, which, by the way, you know, was known by the Mad Men, uh, etc., were people like, people like entertaining um, advertising that actually delivers messages they're interested in. Um, and just buying eyeballs uh, is not going to get us uh, anywhere in the long term. And indeed, as you can see, technology will help people screen uh, away advertising, which is just buying eyeballs.